I've been mentoring people, it's unbelievable, for about five years now with the mentoring program, although I've been mentoring people long before that. So I've mentored a lot of people over the last five years. And I can tell you, and this is a coding mentoring program, coding to getting a job. So if you're total noob, you want to get a job, you want to become a coder, my program is something to consider. Anyhow, that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to point out the number one problem that people have when learning how to code or anything, really, and it's, it's not what you think. It's not intellectual. There's a 99% chance, well, not 99, but 94, 95% chance, probably. Maybe it's 99. Anyway, a very high probability that you have plenty of intellect between the ears to be able to learn how to code. The biggest problem that people have, it's psychological. It's not uh, intellectual, it's psychological. Most people are insecure, uh, they're lazy, or they mask their insecurity with laziness. They, um, they don't have the ability to uh, follow through, they're not consistent. That's really it, it's all psychological. It's a battle of psychology for a vast majority of people. And you know what, I think way back, way back in the day when I was starting all this stuff, it was for me in certain respects. I was lucky in that I was ex I'm very focused. I'm the type of guy, when I, once I start getting into something, I just can't stop. But uh, that's all just lower brain stuff. It's lizard brain stuff. It's all visceral. It's all visceral. So why do I mention all that? If you want to uh, reach whatever goals you want to reach, whether you want to become a pro developer, you want to start a business, you want to lose, uh, you want to lose weight and get in better shape, what have you. You want to make a lot of money, what have you. The number one thing you have to deal with is foundational. And the foundational thing, the most foundational thing, of course, is, is your psychology, it's your intellect. It's such a huge thing. It's such a huge thing. I'm telling you, we don't pay enough attention to it. We don't pay enough attention to it in the, uh, in the business space, I suppose, where we realize that. Like, I remember one of my mentors, he ran a $50 million company. And I remember he said to me back in the day, I was quite young, I was like 22 or something. And he said, you know, you can buy technical skill, but raw talent and the right mindset is, 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 is what makes all the difference. So he would select uh, employees and people he would work with based on psychology, based on their underlying character, as he would say. And that's, that's the key to all of this. That's the key to all of this. So if you're struggling, learning how to code, want to start a business, struggling with your, uh, your health or your, you want to lose weight, understand there's no magic pill that's going to do it. There's no uh, special hack. It is, really comes down to your psychological disposition. Whether or not you can retrain your your lower brain, your emotional self, which controls and dominates your lives and everybody else's life, really, just about. And whether you can reprogram it so that it pushes you in the right direction. So I was fortunate through stroke of luck where my psychology was such that I, I became like uh, driven to solve a problem. So for me to learn how to code when I first started, I wasn't a geek. You know, I came from an artist background, if you will, well, graphic design background. And uh, it, was, it was really, I remember, I remember I had to really push myself, keep pushing myself. So I, I, I just set a discipline. I got this from martial arts. And the discipline is that I'm going to do every day, I'm going to do a little bit every day. And if I don't understand, it doesn't matter. Because fortunately, I had the experience from martial arts where I saw how uh, techniques and movements that the teachers are teaching me my brain didn't get it at first, and I had to just keep training and training, and then one day I just, I would just, ah, now I understand what, what they're saying, you know? Same thing with learning a code, same thing with starting a business. Like anything else, the younger you are, the better off you're going to be, the more chance you're going to have success. But um, it's not absolutely necessary. So, for example, I started my first business when I was like 17 or 18, 
and uh, I went through a serious illness. It almost killed me. Blah blah blah. Shoestring budget, no money. I had two hundred. My net worth was two hundred bucks. This is back in uh, the day. And uh, I slowly, step by step, built it up. Learn through the school of hard knocks, and you know. And then uh, once I actually figured out what it took to get to where I wanted to be. I was able to find myself at uh, 30, 32, pretty much in early retirement. I took 10 years off. And it's not because I fell ass backwards into huge amounts of money and became one of these super rare guys who just got really lucky or hit it off, hit, you know, hit, hit, hit the jackpot. No, it was about, I hit little jackpots. I had little wins, but lots of little wins, proper finances, uh, proper uh, management of my cash, uh, not going crazy and spending all my money on brand new Porsches and, uh, and uh, expensive cars and stuff and Lamborghinis, but just living a nice, comfortable lifestyle. For me, uh, you know, for me, freedom is the, the greatest wealth, freedom and health. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, if you want to get to where you want to be, Coding, business, getting a job. Remember, your biggest hurdle, your biggest challenge is not intellectual, it's psychological. That's all it is. It's psychological. Work on that. You could start by little things, little, little, little exercises that could help you to start training your lizard brain. One of the things you can do is you could start... Uh, well, I'll give you this funny little exercise. Um, if you feel an itch, don't scratch it. I learned this from a Zen, uh, a Zen practitioner, Zen meditation. If you feel an itch, don't scratch it. Just focus on it, concentrate on it, but don't actually scratch it. So why, do, why is this simple little exercise relevant? Because you're slowly training your brain that you're not going to respond to every impulse it sends you. Remember, when you feel an itch, that's because your lizard brain is going, oh, let's make this part itch for whatever reason. And uh, so if you do that, you start exerting control over it. It's a simple little exercise, but it really works. Another exercise we used to do in martial arts, one style I did, we'd hold a horse stance position, and they would, they would hit us. Boom, 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 boom. And we'd have to sit there and take it. And the whole point of that exercise was the control pain response, the pain reflex, uh, so that we calm that down. So you could, that's another exercise. I'm not saying hit yourself, but you know, you get the idea. The idea is through the physical body, you can start controlling your uh, lizard brain, your psychological self, and you can start controlling impulses and start manipulating. This is kind of just the very first level. But um, there you go. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know. I got lots. You can check out my lizard wizard course where I go into a bunch of stuff like this. But again, if you're having trouble, you're having anxiety issues, you're fearful about getting a job because the market is starting to shift with the AI and all that stuff. Remember, this is all psychology. This is all psychology. It's all lizard brain stuff. And if you're in a position that's not secure financially, um, Again, you can rectify that very quickly by just managing your finances, getting your money in order. I, I'm amazed at how financially illiterate so many people are. If you have credit card debt, you're financially illiterate. If you have all kinds of debts laying around, you're financially illiterate. If you don't know where you're spending your money every month, you're financially illiterate. You know, you have to do this. You have to do this. There are people I know who made very little money uh, but were able to accumulate tremendous wealth over time because they were disciplined and they understand investing and saving. And they didn't make too much money. They just were careful about what they did and they, they had an instinct for finance and money. Anyway, again, finance, controlling your spending habits and uh, managing yourself, again, it's, it's just a function of the lizard brain. I hope that helps. I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in software development, business development, all this kind of stuff. Everything I mentor and talk about, I did for many, many years. So it's based on real world experience. All right, we'll talk soon.
Thank you.